Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Deceased, a good day to die, a one-shot tie-in to the Deceased miniseries going on right now in DC Comics. This is, of course, written by Tom Taylor, who is writing the main miniseries, with art by Laura Braga and Derek Robertson. Now, this focuses on a different set of characters than we have been following in the main Deceased miniseries. This one follows Mr. Miracle and Big Barda, along with Blue Beetle, Mr. Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Mr. Terrific, and John Constantine. I thought it was a fantastic addition, uh, addition to uh, DC. So let's dive into it and go through it as we do on the channel. So first off, we got a boom tube opening up in the middle of Dead Space with Mr. Miracle and Big Barda saying, It's true, apocalypse. The whole damn planet is gone and it is... It is blown up, blew up in the first issue of uh, Deceased, um, but it's a cool visual to see them standing there in, in its rubble on the uh, the uh, event horizon of a, a boom tube. So they, uh, they they kind of, you know, Mr. Miracle's almost distraught a little bit, he says. My, my father is gone. Big Barda asks him how he feels, and he's like, you know, honestly pretty good. I mean, you know, Earth is going to hell, but who wouldn't feel good with uh, Apocalypse and Darkseid erased from the universe? Am I right? So they go back, uh, they have a nice kiss, and then they go back home where we meet uh, Mr. Terrific, and he has Captain Boomerang uh, strapped to a table, and he's doing experiments on him because he has been infected. Uh, he says, uh, you know, no response to audible or visual stimuli, no notable change after secondary exposure to the virus. And he basically he can't figure it out, right? He even says, I have 14 PhDs, and I'm stumped. Um, so he says, we go to the origin, right? We got to go back to where it started. So uh, we go to... Barda and uh, Scott's apartment there, um, and there's a knock at the door, and they just kind of look at each other like, what? What is going on there? And so Big Barda goes to, to answer the door, and Scott's like, what are you doing? She's like, getting the door, and he's like, how do you know it's not monsters? Then, uh, then there's a knock again, and she says, I don't think the undead knock that politely. Then he's like, uh, how do you know that's a knock? It might just sound like a knock. Ma knock. Maybe it's a bloody stump. And then the doorbell rings, and she says, Bloody Stump found the doorbell. And she's fine, like, okay, fine, answer the door. Great, great stuff. So it is Mr. Terrific going there. Um, he is coming to them to try and see if they can figure it out. Um, he knows it's from, it's got, uh, a, a, it's the anti-life equation, the viruses, and that it is apocalyptin in origin. And so they're like, uh, yeah, we tried that. We went to apocalypse, and it is gone he's like okay well we are going to move on to other plans so we go to cord industries uh, uh home company of ted cord the blue beetle and uh blue beetle and uh, booster gold are there and uh, big barda uh knocks on the door as um the three other heroes um just take down a bunch of zombies i love this uh, image right here with uh all the uh, the t spheres uh slicing right through all of these um all the zombies and then uh, the Blue Beetle's like, it's good to see you, Barda. And she says, you too, I'd give you a hug. But I'm covered in a lot of undead bits. And then Mr. Miracle's like, I have a part of an ear in my tights. Um, kinky, if you're into that thing, right? And so uh, they basically, uh, Mr. Terrific says, uh, we need to save the world. And to do that, I think we need to think outside of the box. So the next option is magic. And of course, that's where John Constantine comes in, right? Um, so we, uh, get past a, uh, Snickers ad here and go to John Constantine running away from a horde of zombies in Liverpool. This reminds me a lot of the, uh, the scene from, uh, Deadpool 2 where, uh, Deadpool is running to, uh, Dope Ender in, uh, in the, um, in the cab, right? John Constantine gets in the cab and yells at Chaz to start it, but unfortunately Chaz has been infected. Uh, Constantine in a pretty cool scene here, flashes his eyes and then speaks some sort of spell and just uh, 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 incinerates um, uh, Chaz here. Then he gets in the driver's seat and drives off, but of course immediately crashes into another parked car, bemoaning the fact that he never learned how to drive. 
Um, but then our heroes come to save him, uh, and there's some great, great dialogue. So forgive me, I'm going to read a bunch of it. Um, so there's a the the, the Blue Beetle uh, spaceship, I forget what it's called, my apologies, shows up, and uh, it's Mr. Terrific, Mr. Miracle, and Big Bart, and John is like, oh, look at this, two misters and a big. Why can't you people get regular names? Um, it's like, I mean, Mr. Terrific, what kind of arrogant sod is comfortable walking around with that hanging on him? Which is a great line because it ties into a pretty sweet moment later on and when I say sweet I mean emotional and caring which is not something you expect from John Constantine right uh, it says why not call yourself uh, Mr. Full of my bloody self and be done with it which is great um, then they ask him if he's okay and he says Peachy just set my best mate on fire and crashed his car while it's sitting in his ashes uh, how's your day going? And Scott Free says, my entire planet was destroyed and John's like alright it's not a competition fantastic Perfect dialogue. I love Tom Taylor, right? And he's like, how'd you find me? And Mr. Terrific's like, uh, you have a Justice League membership card in your wallet. It has a transponder inside. And he's like, what? I thought that was just like a library card. Uh, so they're basically telling him, it's like, uh, we need to fix this and we can't figure it out with technology. So we were hoping magic would help. And he's like, you think I can just click my fingers and make this all go away? It's like, what we really need to do here is just find a well-stocked hidey hole and get drunk. And they're like, um... Uh, he says, uh, uh, Mr. Terrific says, we have a world to save. And he's like, right, off you pop. Go go take care of that then. And then he says, you know, F and heroes and uh, steps into a portal and uh, walks away. So now they turn to Booster Gold as the third option. It's like time travel. This is how we're going to fix it. We're going to go back. We're going to fix it. He says, I, I left my time machine uh, in safe hands with uh, in Malibu in the home of Fire and Ice. But unfortunately, they have been infected too and crash uh, the beetle ship. And our heroes have to get out, run to, um, run to the mansion, and... Scott and Big Barda stay behind to let them all get through. They they share a kiss and a share quote uh, before getting overrun. Uh, terrific, uh, Blue Beetle and Booster all run inside where they are met with um, Wave Rider, who is a linear man, basically one of the time cops standing at the time sphere, and he's basically going to you know say you know stop them from screwing around with the timeline. We go to the Oblivion Bar where John Constantine ran off, and he orders uh, he says, "Give me the top the bottle from the top shelf that made the Phantom Stranger forget his own name," which sounds like a pretty dangerous uh, bottle of liquor. John stares at it for a minute and goes oh, bollocks and he's like fine I'm gonna go be a hero Ugh, the typical John Constantine I'm gonna do it but I don't want to and I'm gonna bitch and moan the whole time right um, so Constantine shows back up uh, headbutts Wave Rider knocks him out but from outside an infected Big Barda bursts in and um, basically this next page uh, rips Mr. Terrific right in half. Gory, gory stuff. And then um, uh, Booster Gold uh, kind of keels over and he says, um, are they like, what's happening? What's wrong? And Wave Rider says, um, uh, it is as it should be the end. Kal-El of Krypton has found Barry Allen in Earth in the rubble of Keystone City, and so I guess without the Flash, Booster Gold never, or they, he never came to this time because he never existed. The future is erased, and he just vanishes because he never really existed, right? Uh, turn the page, and uh, Constantine is basically like, um, you know, he yells at, uh, um, Wave Rider, I'm sorry, and uh, says, you know what, you've pissed me off, you're not going to leave here, I bonded you to me. Uh, in the background, Blue Beetle gets infected, and then Blue Beetle just destroys uh, Wave Rider there, um, and then we turn the page, and who shows up but Dr. Fate and Zatanna, two of the most powerful sorcerers, uh, love Zatanna, I need to read more of her books, right, <laughs> and then Constantine just straight up punches Dr. Fate right in the helmet. And he's like, ow, my hand. And I'm like, yeah, you punched metal. It doesn't work that way, right? And so um, they're uh, Dr. Fate says we need to go uh, take care of the Lords of Chaos and Order. And um, 
uh, that's basically that's basically the end of it. It says to be continued with a question mark. Um, so I was pretty sure that this was a one shot. So we'll see how this plays into uh, the last couple issues of the deceased uh, mini series, which I have been thoroughly enjoying. And hopefully these characters that are surviving show up over there, and Satana and Doctor Fate and Constantine uh, show up and help the rest of the remaining living heroes save the day. So guys, what do you think about this great uh, one shot to a great mini series? One shot tie into a great mini series let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below thank you so much for watching if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button for me it would mean a lot or check out my patreon you can find the link for that at the top of the description and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop